Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. We're live. Wikibon.org and SiliconAngle.com's continuous coverage of Oracle Open World 2011. And I'm here with Sam Lucido of EMC. Sam is the, his official title is Director Everything Oracle at EMC. Welcome, Sam. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So it's good to have you here. Everything Oracle, that's a, that's a lot. I'm walking around the event here. Uh, it's just amazing how much uh, stuff Oracle <laughs> sells. I know you guys are a big Oracle shop, but really your role is, is to develop reference architectures and proven solutions for customers. Um, can you talk a little bit more specifically about what that role is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I work with uh, our, our great team, the Oracle Global Solutions Team, and we develop reference architecture use cases around Oracle in particular on EMC hardware. So what we try to do is provide solutions for the Oracle customers uh, running on um, EMC hardware. For example, FastVP is one of the big solutions that we have available for Oracle customers. It stands for Fully Automated Storage Tiering and Virtual Provisioning and it provides um, amazing performance for uh, Oracle databases. In particular, with Oracle databases, you know, you have a very small active data set, and what you could do is you can have that auto tier to enterprise flash drives for outstanding performance. For example, just 5% of the database sometimes can return to you 44% performance just by moving it to enterprise flash drives. So I want to talk a little bit more about the, the whole solutions group. Um, I've said a number of times that this is one of the best freebies that customers can take advantage of, right? You're, you're not a revenue producing unit inside of EMC, is that correct? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So you can go out to uh, emc.com and slash everything Oracle. You'll see our community website out there. What we're all about is getting feedback from everybody uh, out there that uses Oracle um, and getting feedback about how they feel EMC solutions are working for them. And uh, what we do is we take that feedback, work with our Oracle Global Solutions Group, and define more reference architecture and use cases upon what they're interested in. So you're absolutely right. Yeah, so I always encourage uh, customers to find out you know, what proven solutions are available, what reference architectures, because it, um, what you do, and, and others, I mean, I, I think IBM Red Books is, uh, and I, I learned a lot when I was a young analyst, just reading IBM Red Books, and I think, um, the difference here is that you're really focused on the EMC products, the storage integration with you know, other pieces of the puzzle, but it's really a, 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 a new sort of dimension in um, that sort of technical reference architectures. And so you can learn a lot by reading these things, but more importantly, um, it helps you not make mistakes that you guys made when you probably put this stuff together, right? So talk right. about that a little bit. Sure, sure. So. You know, what we were able to do is, is take feedback from the community and, um, you know, also educate the community. So it's a two-way street. We work together very nicely. Mm -hmm. For example, a lot of people are interested in um, virtualization of Oracle, okay? So, you know, uh, can I virtualize Oracle? Um, if I go about virtualizing Oracle, how do I do it? Is there a use case out there that shows me step-by-step -step how you can implement Oracle? So what we like to do is provide that feedback to customers, show them how it can get done, and of course, um, you know, make them happy customers along the way. So step-by-step -step guide, best practices, um, don't do this, do this. Um, because I think it's fair to say Oracle is not simple. Uh, if you don't have a lot of Oracle experience, you can make a lot of mistakes and That's get right. in a lot of trouble. Um, so, if I understand it, you got two recent reference architectures, one on VNX and one on VMAX around virtualizing Oracle, is that right? Yeah, you know, you make a great point, by the way. Oracle's not always easy to implement, easy to uh, get running. So what our reference architectures do do is provide that step-by-step, -step how we did it and how we made it work. Yeah, uh, with our VNX series, which just came out a little while ago, we have something in there called Fast Cache. Fast Cache is very nice because what it is is essentially enterprise flash drives that supplement the memory within our VNX arrays so that supplementing the memory within our VNX arrays makes us, um, uh, makes us or gives us the ability to add a lot of memory in terms of improving the performance of your databases. So the idea here is simply by adding a, a enterprise flash drive or two to the VNX box, we can improve the performance of your Oracle databases sometimes two to three times what it was without that uh, fast cache. And uh, I've already mentioned FastVP and the VMAX and uh, Symmetric series as well. So excellent solutions out there for customers considering the VNX and the VMAX. So a lot of customers that I talk to are concerned about virtualizing Oracle apps, largely because Oracle doesn't want them to use VMware uh, and because they don't want to use OVM. 
they want to use VMware because everybody's using VMware, not everybody, but many are, uh, many in the Oracle environment. Now, as you know, many customers are moving in that direction despite um, Oracle's positioning. Um, what are you seeing in the field with regard to that? What are customers doing and what are you advising them in terms of uh, virtualizing Oracle? You know, that's a good question, and it's usually one of the top questions on customers' minds, so you hit the nail on the head right there. Um, you know, with uh, VMware and Oracle, there's definitely uh, areas where they can come together and work quite nicely together, in fact. Um, I was uh, out in Luxembourg about a year ago. I was working with Oracle's Red Storm architecture team, and I asked them a question, you know, have you implemented Oracle with VMware? And all of them, 40 of them in the room, raised their hand and said, absolutely, we have. So Oracle definitely works with VMware. Now the nice thing is, is though, you have to do some education. What are the best practices in terms of implementing Oracle on VMware? Because there's some things you got to be careful of. In particular, licensing is one of those things you have to be very careful of when you implement Oracle on VMware. So what we typically recommend in terms of licensing is when you put an Oracle within a VM virtual machine, you don't put it in a larger cluster. You keep that cluster very narrow and Oracle-centric so that you don't have a large licensing impact. Those are just a few of the things that we do. Um, and I got to say this, Oracle um, sometimes is confusing, but they work with customers, and I've seen them work very well with customers who have virtualized using VMware. Yeah, so, um, I mean, the trend is clear. We, we, I say, have a lot of clients within the Wikibon community that are virtualizing Oracle. A lot of test and dev, obviously, um, and even you know, plenty in, in production environments. We have those who say, you know, I'm not doing it, unless Oracle supports it. Now they do support it, of course, in certain niches. They support Rack. Right. Um, they support, um, they will certify in the pharmaceutical industry uh, yep. for FDA testing. Yep. You got to pay them through the nose, but they will certify it. So there's, there are proof points that it works, uh, certainly in the customer base anecdotally, certainly within Oracle. Got to mm -hmm. sort of find it behind the firewall, but it's there, there's documentation. Right. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to see that market tension go forward because Oracle wants to sell its own stuff. We know that. Yep. Um, what else did you learn uh, in these reference architectures that maybe surprised you? Well, you know, one of the things that I learned in the reference architectures is, is that um, you have to implement things a, a, a certain way, or there's certainly a, a, a set of best practices in terms of implementing and virtualizing Oracle. You know, I, I worked with Oracle Corporation on the delivery side of the business for about 10 years. Um, and one thing I can say about Oracle is their key strength is they work across everything. And that includes virtualization. Uh, and one of the things that I like, usually like to call out is, is that um, when, when you're working with Oracle and trying to improve the performance, whether it's virtualized or not, you really have to focus on where your active data is. That's very important because that's where um, you're going to have problems and bottlenecks if you don't architect that correctly. So the idea is, is try to zero in on your active data set and move that to your enterprise flash drives. We automate it through FastVP, as I had mentioned earlier, but you know you can also do this manually if you need to. So the idea is, is that focus on that active data set and move that to the right tier, and we have several practices around different components of the database and what tiers they should go on. So what's the, uh, when we talk about, we're talking generically about virtualizing Oracle, specifically what are you virtualizing? Uh, well, we've virtualized everything. I mean, we've, we've tested uh, virtualization of the database. We've shown ref and architectures with Rack, which is very interesting. Once you virtualize Rack, and there's several different ways you can virtualize it, and a lot goes into how you virtualize Rack. For example, a very technical point is with Rack, you can use RDM, uh, which stands for Raw Device Mapping. Um, raw Device Mapping provides the capability to run both virtual and physical nodes together with VMware and Rack. So the idea here is that if you ever did have a problem with Oracle support, what you could do is you could reference the physical nodes in your Rack architecture, taking the virtualization out of the equation and get the support you need right away. So there's a lot of those solutions within our reference architectures that really help customers along in the virtualization journey. Sam, how do you decide um, where to put your resources? A big company, but you don't have unlimited resources. How do you decide what projects to run? Well, you know what we do is, is we typically like to look at the customers and get the customers' feedback on uh, what, what we should invest in next. You know, for example, um, what we do with the community is, is that we ask them, hey, we'll put a poll out there. What technology are you interested in today? What technology are you interested in the future? And what we try to do is take that feedback 
roll it into our use cases and our reference architectures moving forward. And in that way, customers have an interest in what we're producing. So we really look for the community to provide us that insight. All right, Sam, well, like I said, the customers out there, this is, this is a great service that you guys provide. It's free. Um, find out if there's a solution that you know, you're considering that has already been proven out. Uh, there's great documentation. Um, I wish more companies would do it. Uh, you know, I'm glad you guys do, and uh, appreciate you coming on theCUBE and sharing your insights in this uh, high-performance data center uh, spotlight. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. This is uh, Dave Vellante. We're live at Oracle Open World, and we'll be right back.